Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? Um, yeah, I haven't made a video in a while, but in today's video, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, for those who have the Boost Mobile LG G Stylo, obviously you guys know we have the weaker version uh, compared to what Metro PCS has. Now, if you did root your phone when you first got it, um, basically if you rooted the G Stylo before the system update came out and you are rooted, that this is actually going to help you out. If you have not rooted your G-Stylo and you already accepted the system update, I advise you do not try to root your device as you can wind up getting it stuck in a boot loop and being soft bricked until uh, there's a fix for it. So, uh, like I said, if you guys rooted uh, a while back or when it first came out and you guys got it rooted, you're pretty much safe. So I'm going to show you guys uh, just basically what's on my G-Stylo and what I've used. Um, to get it to perform uh, a lot better than what it does stock. So without further ado, let's get in it. Basically, here is my G-Stylo, and as you guys can see as I'm swiping through the screens, it's pretty slick. Entering in the app drawer and exiting the app drawer is actually pretty slick too as well. Uh, so here's the secret to what I use to get my phone to speed up faster. First is I use Link to SD, and I do have the Pro version as well. So I did pay, um, I think it was like $1.99 for the Pro version. And uh, what Link to SD does is... Um, if you partition your micro SD card to hold uh, two or three partitions, um, you get this uh, second card, well, the SD card second partition, which you guys see right there. That is the second partition on my micro SD card. And it's formatted to EXT4 and it holds applications on it. And not like the basic way of moving apps to SD where like, 75% is moved over. It moves the whole application over. So I am running applications off my micro SD card. Now I'll let you guys know this is pretty dangerous to do because at any time you remove the micro SD card, you can cause a lot of file damage to your Android device. So once you do this, it's pretty much safe to say do not remove your SD card. But as you guys can see, um, the Drive app was pretty much 100% loaded onto my SD card and I'll move the Gmail app on right now so you guys can see what it does. So once you create a link and it's going to go ahead and push that application over so now it's 100% on my SD card. And so yeah, that, that's one of the tricks that I use here. The second thing that I use to get more speed on my device is Swapper Configuration. And what this does is it creates a swap file, a Linux swap, which is used as additional RAM. So you guys can see down here, I have 1,024 megabytes as my swap. So technically I just added another gig of RAM to the device. Now, some people say that this works and some say it doesn't. I'll go into applications and show you that even if you go into your settings and you go to apps and you go to running, it does not show you have an extra gig of RAM but for some reason the phone does speed up a lot faster and I'm, I am believing that this does act as an additional RAM to your device um, which will then speed it up and give you better performance multitasking and just running heavy applications as I've been doing lately and noticing a, a significant change with me just altering these two things so you can find both in the Play Store very easy to uh, to do. Uh, I do have a video on how to use Link to SD and the swapper configuration is pretty much easy to handle. So um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it on your social networks, and don't forget to subscribe. Let me out. I'm stuck in your pocket.